Hey everybody, welcome back to Kids Network Studios. I'm Amy Good, AK1028. And due to the holiday, I was a bit thrown off this week. But no need to worry. I'll just record on Wednesday and Friday, and then we'll be right back on schedule. But that's for this week only. Now, today's Mario Reveal. Mario! 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 <laughs> is Bowser's Inside Story. This story is a bit different from the others. Why? Well, Fawful is back, and he's given Bowser this strange mushroom that allows him to suck in everything. Meanwhile, our heroes have their own problems. What problems that could be, you ask? Well, the Toads have fallen victim to a mysterious disease called the Blorbs. Yeah, no joke on that one. <laughs> so it's up to Mario and Luigi to figure out this illness, plus stop Bowser at the same time. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Alright, let's skip over the story we don't need that. Battle system, we don't really need to go over that. Special attacks, no. Items, no. <laughs> uh, I don't want to spoil you guys too much. That's why I'm getting, like going over this real quick. We don't need characters. Um, this is the first time you can play as Bowser, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's keep going here. Overworld, we don't need that. Um, differences, here we go. This is the first game to feature more than one optional boss goes than the final boss. This is also the first game in the series of uh, Mario and Luigi, not to feature Igad or Yoshi. This is also the first Mario game that Bowser's a main protagonist, and this is the first time the game gives Mario and Luigi eyebrows. <laughs> Alright, unlike Partners in Time for the DS, this game makes greater use of the DS touch controls and microphone. Um, as I already said before, this is the first time that Bowser's actually a playable character. Um, you can also equip Mario and Luigi with pants, gloves, shoe shocks, and accessories instead of just pants. Instead of the, uh, instead of just pants as is the first two Mario and Luigi games. Alright. Um, we don't have to go over those. References to other games. New Super Mario Bros. Uh, Blue Shells make an appearance. A Mario Mushroom also appears during one of Broke Monsieur's attacks in his tutorial. Um, hmm. Not much else I want to go over. But in all honesty, I really like this story. And this is kind of like the only game with Bowser in the title. How weird is that? Anyway. Bowser's Inside Story was pretty good. It was kind of complicated. I still had to get used to playing as Mario and Luigi at the same time, but yeah. Minor setbacks. I can still do it. <laughs> In no, all honesty, guys, the gameplay was great. The story was really good. I really got interested in that. And I was really surprised by the fact that Bowser was actually helping Mario and Luigi as to opposing to them, which is a great new twist. And in all honesty, I liked that. Granted, Bowser goes back to his evil ways later on, but that's no surprise. All in all, guys, I give Bowser's Inside Story 
an 8.5 out of 10. That's pretty good. For our next segment of Mario and Luigi, that will be on Friday, will be the Dream Team. Yep, I played this game. Can't really say that I defeated it, but I'm going to try and defeat it before Friday. So, hopefully I haven't missed all too much or there is an awful bunch I have to do in order to defeat it. So, without further ado, I am AK1028 from Kids Network Studios. It's hot today, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Adios. Ooh. Adios. <laughs>